Now joining us live to discuss this match is our cricket analyst, Mr. Sunil Gavaskar, live from England. Now before I go to him, I need to tell our viewers that uh, much before the semi-finals, Mr. Gavaskar was asked what would be his ideal final and he had said India versus England. You've got your wish now quickly because we Indian fans are very superstitious. Quickly make your prediction for the final too now. Uh, I don't want to make a prediction. I think I'll, I'll, I'll wait uh, to see how the, the stars uh, come about uh, on Saturday. On Saturday, I will, I'll try and make a prediction. Right now, I'm so enjoying uh, the Indian win that I do not want to uh, go into any, any, any predict uh, prediction uh, mode. All right, uh, we'll wait for Saturday and for all you viewers who want to listen to his prediction, which came right earlier as well, you need to tune in to NDTV. But quickly, looking through the match, Sanibai, and uh, let's start with Shikhar Dhawan. Just looking at a few numbers here, uh, after he made that uh, return to international cricket, 187, 114, 102, 48, 52, do you think that that break did him some good, you know, that hunger came back? Yes. Yes, it did, because I think he realized uh, what it uh, meant to be part of the Indian team, uh, that he was part of the Indian dressing room. He had seen what the atmosphere was. He had seen how good it is uh, to be representing your country. And then suddenly to be out of that uh, and, and for two years meant that uh, he realized that if you wanted to get back in the Indian team, he had to deliver. He had to score runs by the, by the hundreds in domestic cricket. And all the opportunities that he got in, in domestic cricket, he grabbed. He, he scored hundreds. He scored big hundreds. And when you score big hundreds, you attract the attention of the selectors. Because look, there are lots of in, in, in our domestic cricket. There are so many matches played. And in, in the matches there are, there are always going to be batsmen who score a hundred. But those are not going to be remembered by, by the selection committee unless it's a double hundred or, or more than that. And that is what Shikhar Dhawan kept on delivering in domestic cricket. And that's how he found himself back in the Indian team. Right. Uh, talking about openers, let's talk about Rohit Sharma. Uh, everyone says he has the technique and, and he can play at the top level. But for an opener, you always need patience as well. Uh, you were a master at that. Uh, what do you think Rohit Sharma should do to develop that kind of mentality to, to stick on the crease for very long? Well, I think he's just got to take a lesson from Shikhar Dhawan. Now, Shikhar Dhawan also, in the, in the, the two years ago when he played for India, he scored lovely 20s and 30s, but didn't go on to score, score a, get a substantial score. And so he found himself out of the Indian team. And it's the same thing is happening with Rohit Sharma. He's doing all the hard work. He's getting 30s. He's, he's seeing off the new ball and then throwing it away. Now, the, the, the thing is that there are so many batsmen waiting in the wings that after, after some time, even the team management, which is, which is a big supporter of Rohit Sharma, is going to lose patience if he keeps on getting out in this manner. At this particular point, when he got out, there was no pressure of the asking rate. India was scoring at more than five runs and over at that stage. Shikhar Dhawan was scoring runs and, and even Rohit was batting well. So it was important for Rohit to convert that 31 into something like an 80 or a 90. Because when you score an 80 or a 90 on the eve of the finals, it gives you confidence as well. But when you get out for 31, you know, when you throw it away, then your temperament is in question. And I think that is going to be always the big question mark about Rohit Sharma because talent-wise, nobody questions his talent. It's a question over his temperament, which means short selection, which means showing patience. I think that these are areas that he needs to really work on if he wants a permanent place in the Indian team. Right, of course, there is the final, so he has an opportunity to make amends. Uh, talking about rebirths, we spoke about Shikhar Dhawan, another man, Ravindra Jadeja. He's played close to 68 uh, one days now. But if you look at the stats, the first 34 games, he just picked up 29 wickets. The next 34, he's already picked up 50 wickets. Do you see any change in the way he's bowling? And what do you attribute that success to? Well, yes, there is a little change in the bowling. I know uh, in terms of delivery, etc., it looks up, pretty much appears the same. But there are subtle changes, subtle changes in, in the, in the, in the li lines that he's bowling. Not so much the length, because length, as the great Irapali Prasanna said, length is mandatory, line is optional. And I think that is what he's following, because he's bowling the line according to the batsman. So when the batsmen are trying to get after him, he bowls a slightly wider line, where with the little turn that he gets, batsmen have to really hit it over extra cover which is not an easy shot to play or if they're really trying to slog him over mid wicket or mid on they've got to make the good connection so he's learned from experience and and when you when you have a regular place in the indian team then it gives you the opportunities to fail not just opportunities to succeed so that is what he's done he's learned he's picked up picked up a lot 
and now he feels that he belongs to the arena he belongs to this indian team and when that feeling comes in then your performance improves and that's what's happened with ravindra jadeja all right talk about another spinner uh, probably the ball of the match r ashwin let's not forget he's an off spinner but with the kind of turn that he got from outside the leg stump do you think he'll he'll put a leg spinner to shame with that carrom ball of his Yes, because you know, I think leg spinners use the third finger of their right hand, and that that really enables them to impart a lot of spin. But trying to bowl the the, the flicker, the the carom ball, you use your middle finger, and the middle finger doesn't always have the same strength in delivering the ball because the whole action is different. So I mean, that was a terrific ball to get uh, rid of uh, Kulasekara uh, be behind his legs, round his legs, uh, and and doing it on English pitches which don't normally yield sp spin uh, takes something uh, special. All right. Now, since the ball of the century is already taken by Shane Warne, we'll we'll call it the carom ball of the century by uh, Ashwin. Okay. Uh, talking about uh, you know the big difference. I know India outplayed Sri Lanka today, but do you think the big fielding was also the big difference? Uh, we saw how Suresh Raina held on to those catches in the slip. Sri Lanka failed to do that right at the start. Uh, uh, if if my calculation is correct, I think three uh, drop chances as far as Shikhar Dhawan is concerned. Uh, yes i think fielding will always make the difference i've always said in limited overs cricket uh, more than anything else uh, fielding will make the difference the teams that save that extra run the teams that take those impossible catches these are the teams that are always going to win because they are going to keep sustained pressure on the opposition they are not going to concede easy runs they are going to try and convert every half chance into an opportunity and dismiss the batsman so that is what the indian team currently is doing look at the way they are fielding look at the way they are stopping the batsman from stealing the extra run look at the way they they are diving around and taking catches so yes i think fielding has been the big difference talk talk about a big difference and this is something that ms dhoni also mentioned in the post match uh, uh, set, uh, the the interview that he gave uh, post match was was dilshan missing and you know when he got injured he left the crease and then came back later do you think that also made a huge difference yes because uh, dilshan had begun well in fact the shot that he played uh, where he got that boundary and where he also got injured playing that shot was such a such a difficult shot to play to play a shot to mid wicket of a quick bowler like uh, umesh yadav is not an easy thing to do but he did that and maybe in, in playing that shot or maybe in setting off or the follow through of that shot he he tore that uh, calf muscle of his and so so that was really unfortunate because the manner in which he was batting who knows sri lanka could have got 240 250 maybe even more and uh, that could have made a difference Right Mr Sunil Gavaskar thanks so much for joining us uh